Hey guys, this is Super Ty over at the Awesome Books and Comics Sidekick Store. We are on Batch 4, Box 4. We're getting close to the end. This has been a really good batch so far. The first three boxes have been amazing. Me and Comic Book Brando, enjoying the hell out of it. So let's see what we got in here. Oh man. I just heard that someone came in and said they watched our video. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. They said it was really cute. <laughs> I'll take cute. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm manly I'll, enough to accept I'll treatments. take a punch in the face. Either way, I'm cool. Well, that's not necessary, is it? No, but take it if I have to. So, let's go through this. We got a Space Invaders mouse pad and mouse. Kill all the aliens. One of the best video games. One of the first video games. We got some more Age of Ultron Dice Master set. Uh, we've gotten a couple of these, and by a couple I mean a lot, so I'm gonna just put these off to the side. Play the game. <laughs> we have a couple of pops in here. We got a Hermione Granger. People like that character. I know magic. <laughs> I'm a muggle. Uh, we got she a Sherlock. A yeah, she is. Muggles, the people that don't understand magic. No, muggles are the are like normal people that aren't magical, but she's one of them that got into. Oh, I'm not going to argue <laughs> Harry Potter stuff, but she's a muggle. Okay, I believe you. Yeah. Uh, Muggle-born, I guess. Mm. Uh, this is a Sherlock with violin pop. Uh, unfortunately, there's a sticker right there, but figure's fine. I'm a Muggle. <laughs> yeah, he's a Muggle. Uh, we got Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg, once again, one of the best villains. Because he's so just charming. Muggle. They blow stuff up. He's got a soul patch. We got a Rinley Baratheon pin from Game of Thrones. Like I said before. We got two of them. Nobody no, likes No one Rinley. likes Rimley. Oh, this is cool. We got an Outer Limits figure. Whoa! Unfortunately, the arm's broken off, but you could easily glue that back so on. What? Snap that back on. That's a cool X-Plus figure. It's done in the style of Sofubi, the classic Japanese toy. I feel like I am admitting some expertise here. <laughs> We have gotten a Sons of Anarchy by Mezco. It's a 12-inch figure of Jax. My uh, little sister and her husband love that show so much, they named their kid Jax. He's going to get into a giant mech. Is that the same guy? Ooh, I don't think so. The one from Pacific Rim? Oh, yeah, that is the same guy. Yeah. Right. Okay, so this is super cool. We got a 115th scale Time Machine DeLorean. Oh, man. Lights up. What is that from? That is from Diamond Select. Um, sing the song. Don't need money. Don't need that. Don't need no credit card. So we also got a Marvel Select <laughs> Stealth <laughs> Iron Man. Did that break you on that yeah, one? Yeah, it's pretty right, good. Gotcha. Pretty good. Stealthy. We also got a blunt man, Kevin Smith, from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I loved that movie. Smokey. That was one of my first uh, encounters with uh, Will Ferrell. Oh. I never really watched uh, Saturday Night Live that much, but that was really? one of my first times with him. Oh. Uh, man, I... <laughs> do, you, do you remember his name from that? Uh, Will and Holly. Will and Holly. Was that from... Um, the guys who did... It's from Land of the Lost. Land of the Lost, thank you. Yeah, God. but the, uh, the it was a Sid and Marty Croft show for the names of the characters yeah, were, were will and yeah, holly yeah. yeah uh and also the land of the lost movie starring will ferrell i think it was underrated it was actually a pretty fun movie like Ooh. did you see it yeah in the theaters i i thought parts were pretty fun i actually went in thinking i'd like it but boy that was not good oh man the mosquito that grew up to like a balloon size and he like ah i thought it was hilarious Ugh. okay so we got an Dragon Ball Z pop of Super Saiyan Goku, Glows in the Dark. Oh, Woo! man, that will be gone in no time. Uh! And I, once again, I wish I knew what this was. It's an all in Japanese clamp something. I really wish I knew. Sorry, guys, I failed you on this one. It's okay, we're used to it. Ouch. Oh! oh. Only in your inability to speak Japanese. We got a couple more of those. We also got a Deadpool pop figure. Popping and locking. A couple of those before, but those have been flying off the shelves pretty quick. Got that. I know this is from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, do you happen to know who that is? Um, I am Cell. Yeah, Cell? that's it. <laughs> All right. 
I was about to say, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan, but then I read it, so there you go. So we got a Star Trek Captain Kirk Select. We got one of these in the last box. Shatner it up. We also got a Wharf as well. We got a couple of these before, so I'm just going to set this off to the side. Oh man, Brandon, we've been waiting for darn near 14 boxes for this. Uh-oh, that sounds good. Holy cow! It's the Hulkbuster that goes with all the Hulks that we've gotten so far. Finally! Finally, the Kotobukiya Hulkbuster. That's amazing and huge. Good God, why is it so much bigger than the Hulk? I guess he is bigger than the Hulk. But finally, can't, we finally got one. Gosh, that's man. a great day. Now we can make that diorama. Man. So, we got another Play Arts of the Venom figure. Once again, I really dig this one. Uh, it's just really nice, and I just love the like gooey hands and just the weird like rictus smile that he has going on. Creepy. We got yet another one of these Drogons. We've gotten a lot of these before, so I'm just gonna put this off to the side. Dragony. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We got a Sweetie Bell from the My Little Pony vinyl collection. This is by Funko. Okay, I would not have been able to name that one. Well, it says so right there. Well, I mean, if the name wasn't there, I would not have known. I know, I know you love My Little Pony, but you don't know all the characters. I yet. only know the main six. Uh -huh. Main, M A N E. I know that that's a thing. Oh, did, oh, did you pun main? I didn't make that up. The fans made that up. Oh man. But I've worked with enough pony fans that I know this now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, serious. Uh, we got another Star Trek Eagle Moss. Uh, this is a Nausicaan uh, fighter right here. And we got, uh, oh, we've never gotten this one before. We've gotten this one before, so I'm just going to sit this right in here. This is a Romulan drone. That actually looks really cool. Looks like a space tentacle monster. Hey, Brandon. Hi. <laughs> so we also got a. United Earth Star Philly Intrepid. We got one of these before, so I'm also going to set this on. Or do you want to show it up to the camera? Show it up close. Intrepid. We got one of these. We got the uh, Captain America one the other day, but now we got the Ultron, so they can do a little battle right there. Ultron on a motorcycle. That's at the same time stupid and kind of awesome. We have the superhero uh, mashers. These are the ones that you can take apart and mix and match. Uh, but this is Hobgoblin. Oh, that's pretty rad. Pretty cool. You can mix it up with the WWE dudes too, right? I think they have like the license. Yeah, they do actually. So you can. Because uh, it's funny, they show the the, the the commercial for it, and then it's like you could turn Seth Rollins into a samurai, and then they show like Hawkman. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> Who do I turn into Hawkman? That's pretty rad. We got a Warhammer Invasion card game, The Assault on Ulthuan. We have uh, plenty more uh, Games Workshop stuff over at our store, Outlaw Moon Games and Toys. No. Let's see what else. Oh my god. The last two things. Uh, this box is a little light because it had this gigantic guy. Uh, we got gigantic guy. some more <laughs> Hulkbuster. We have uh, another Marvel Hero Clicks uh, Invincible Iron Man one. We've gotten plenty of these, so I'm gonna put that aside. And last two things are these little tiny pop flash pins. Flash. Once again, I've been watching the show and I'm very impressed with it. But uh, that's it for this box, guys. So this is uh, would you say this is the penultimate since we only have one left? It's the final countdown! Yes. Oh man, I'm actually really bummed because I love doing these videos, but we're going to have some more. Uh, so subscribe to the Awesome Books channel so you can see all the other cool stuff that we're going to be doing. we got one more. It's going to be Batch 4, Box 5. These are all going to be available on February 10th, uh, first thing in the morning at discounted prices. Um, I am at Super Titan 1. This is at Comic Book Brando. Uh, Brando, you got anything you want to add? Oh, man. I hope you leave some comments and tell us what you think about this stuff. Uh, if you've never been to the Sidekick store, I mean, you are missing out. I mean, oh, yeah. Look what we've got going on here. Show let's, around. Show let's, around. Let's show off. all. These are all just the graphic novels. They're all half off. And we've got back issues. We've got bag sets of entire we've got series. tons of bag sets. I mean, a complete collection instantly and immediately. Oh, yeah. I, I routinely lose about $100 a week in this store just because I love bag sets and I love trade paper bags. Ah, love this store. 
But, so that, I guess that's pretty much it. You can follow us on Twitter. You can also follow us at, at Austin Books. Uh, we have a couple of events coming up. We have a signing with Becky Cloonan on February 17th. We have an art show over at the Guzu Gallery that is going to be on February 26th. That starts at 7. Frame that tune. Frame that tune. It's all going to be uh, animated uh, type of art prints, you know, classic Looney Tunes, more modern animation. I'm really stoked about that. You might just see me there. So uh, that's pretty much it for this box. Join us for our next video. It's going to be the last one in this series, and uh, I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss you, Ty! Uh, I'll catch you later.